Hey guys, hi, thanks for coming by. Tori Magoo44 again. I appreciate you guys coming by. I really do. I hope you're having an excellent Memorial Day weekend if you're here in America. It's uh, kind of a cool weekend. It's a four day weekend. <clears throat> Today's the 26th of May. Tomorrow is Memorial Day. It's the actual day of Memorial Day. Um, anyway, so today, Tony Ortega, and I'm going to put the link here posted a thing about on the Hubbard College, which I was part of that briefly, but Scientology has a Hubbard College where they were trying to get accredited. I don't know if they are, where they could then get all the doctors and dentists who need to do training and get accreditation each, you know, once a year, they could get them to come to the Hubbard College, right, and do management training with LRH's management training. So one of the things is PR, public relations training. And they have a press release, or it's a release here about PR on, and Tony's link I'm going to put here. But it's funny, and I'm going to tell you a little story about it. They mention PR is good works well you know, publicized. And you know, in order to do that, their thing is you have to be doing good work. This is in writing. You'll see it in the link, doing good work. And then communicating good work to the right people, right? And then communicating... Uh, something that can easily be agreed upon as something that's good public relations. And this is the best one of all, um, that the communication be believable and acceptable, right? Which when I was in, I used to tell the Office of Special Affairs, their PR and legal department, you're creating your own enemies because they wanted me to march around Mark Bunker's site saying he was some you know awful thing. And I said, you don't even know this guy. You know, how do you know that that's true? I doubt it is. It sounds so over the top weird. And you're creating your own enemies from it. And they still do to this day. Um, this is what I love. Get a reputation and have everyone know about it. They definitely have a reputation. I don't think it's really the one that they're hoping for, but they have it. And get most out of marketing and advertising with good PR. I love that one. Scientology, you, I, I, all of us are ever amazed. Young kids could do better PR than you guys do. It's just amazing the stuff that you guys do that's awful. That's the exact opposite of this. But I'll tell you the story I was going to tell you. For years, Scientology, the Office of Special Affairs, would call me and say, the critics are out here, they're picketing, can you please come talk to them and try to handle them? And I'd go out, I'd talk to them, blah, blah, blah. You know, a lot of times they'd leave, right? Because I would just talk to them. They'd go out, what are your overts, what are your crimes, all this other bullshit, and they'd stay all day. I'd go out there and I'd say, look, you know, come on, go home, you know, whatever. I'd talk to them and they'd leave. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. And Osa would always say, what did you do? And I'd say, I just talked to them. They're just people. Okay, that was my view, even though I was on OT7, in Scientology, very brainwashed. But I still felt people are people, and they have a right to their viewpoint, whatever that is, right? Okay, so now I escape out in July soon, next month um, of 2000. And I run into, afterwards, I go to a party at Nancy Maney's house. And Laurel Sullivan is there, who was L. Ron Hubbard's personal PR. And I say to Laurel, you know, I don't really get it because I had pretty good at success with PR in Scientology. And she looks at me and with a totally straight face says, absolutely. And you weren't trained in Hubbard technology, were you in PR? And I said, no, I wasn't. And she said, that's why you were successful. We who were trained in L. Ron Hubbard's public relations tools, were kicked out of every single port in the world. Okay, so that's this PR tech that the Hubbard College is trying to promote that, they, that, that you should go and do. Please. You know more good PR than that you could possibly get. The only thing you're going to get from them is what Laurel said. They were kicked out of every single port in the world. That's a lot of ports to be kicked out of with their PR tech. So A, Scientology, wake up. And to anyone hearing this, do not waste your money with Scientology and their PR tech because it's absolutely the opposite of that. And you can just look around and mention the name Scientology to anybody and you can see what kind of PR tech they have and how, how 
you know, their thing of like, um, get the most out of your marketing and advertising with good PR. Well, if this is the most they're getting, their orgs are pretty much empty. So they're not doing too well on the marketing end of things. And to have, what was the thing they said? Oh yeah, be believable and acceptable for good PR. I mean, come on. You, you, you know, you're, most comedians use Scientology all the time. It's, it's a joke. You know, and you've created the joke. It's not us. It's not, all we do is, is spread what you guys are doing. That's it. And you guys usually back up what we're saying way better than we could. The critics, I always say, don't worry about it. Scientology will prove our point. And you have over and over and over. And I thank you. And if you're in, come on out. Honestly, I talked to, I've talked to somebody today. I talked to somebody yesterday. They're still in. They're under the radar. They don't really want to leave because they don't want to lose their family and friends. If everybody in stood up and said, this is bullshit. We're not doing it anymore. It'd be over. That'd be it. All the parents who couldn't talk to their kids could. All the people like me who can't talk to my ex-husband because, oh God, you know, I'm a suppressive person. Give me a break. Come on, please. Wake up and smell the dead roses that are surrounding you in the cult of Scientology. To all of you that are out there having a good time, thank you. And thank you for passing on the information. You never know who you're going to help. People every day are being helped by the stuff that people on the internet are doing. And I thank you greatly because they call me a lot because my phone number is on the internet. So they, and I have the videos. So they see the videos, they call me and I talk to them. And honestly, I talk to people all the time. It's amazing how many people a didn't join because they saw my videos and read stuff that you guys had written or videos you've made and b um, people that are leaving, you know, who finally see them just like one guy said to me today, you only need one person picketing Tori for us to see it. If we see a sign, it gets people thinking. That's it. And I said, I know, I've tried to tell people that, but it's nice to hear that from somebody. That guy's in. This is a guy in who called me today saying, only need one picketer. That's it. That's all you need. And that's a good thing to keep in mind. So anyway, have a wonderful rest of Memorial Day weekend. I love you guys. Peace out. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.